Hi everyone, it's Kamil and this is a 13th episode in the series dedicated to create a cryptocurrency trading bot in Elixir. In this episode we will focus on creating a supervision tree around the streamer application in the same way that we created one around the naive application. We'll reuse all the knowledge and all the tricks that we gained in the naive application and apply them to the streamer application. If you like those episodes, don't forget to smash that like button as it always helps. Subscribe as well if you like the content, otherwise enjoy! Before jumping to the code, let's figure out what we would like to achieve in this episode. So whenever we are starting streaming on a symbol, we are really starting a process without any supervision tree. So whenever the process dies, we are basically out of luck. It will never be restarted. So the very first thing that we can do is basically to add a dynamic supervisor above that process. So it will supervise it and restart it whenever it dies. Our dynamic streamer supervisor will utilize the dynamic supervisor behavior and this module based implementation will allow us to take advantage of placing our starting and stopping code inside that module. But because of putting the code inside there, we will need to provide an interface for the customers of our streamer application so they will be able to use the streamer module to start and stop streaming on a symbol. Okay, that will cover starting and stopping streaming on the symbol. The last functionality that I would like to cover in this episode will be auto starting streaming on startup on the application. So again, in the similar fashion as the naive application, we would like to start the streaming on the startup of the application based on the settings stored in the database. So you can immediately figure out that we would need to provide the ecto. We would need to seed those settings inside the table, as well as we will need to provide the auto start task. So we'll face the same issue. So we have a dynamic streamer supervisor and a task, and they are coupled together. So whenever the dynamic streamer supervisor dies, the task needs to be run once again. So we can't attach the dynamic streamer supervisors together with tasks inside the streamer application. We need additional layer of abstraction that will supervise them together. We will introduce a new supervision layer that will take care of that. Let's get to coding. First, we will add the Binance module together with the Ecto module to the streamer application's dependencies. After getting those dependencies using Debs get, we can create a new streamer repo. We can now update auto-generated config to point to our local docker instance, append the streamer repo to the children list of our streamer application, and go on and create a streamer applications database together with the first migration creating the settings table. The settings table will consist of three columns, ID, symbol and status. The latter will follow the same ecto enumth implementation idea that we used inside the naive application in the last episode. We will implement the streaming status enum next. We can now move on to the implementation of a schema for our settings table. All 
All the groundwork is now finished to be able to push data into the settings table. We will focus on seed script that will fetch the list of the symbols supported by the Binance exchange and fill our table with default settings for each one. Before we will be able to seed our table, we will first apply the migration that will create it. With data set up in the database, we can now start working on the supervision trees, starting with the dynamic streamer supervisor. First we will start with a skeleton implementation and then we will add the required features starting with the start streaming. In the same fashion as in the last episode, everything depends on the fact that the streamer processes are registered under unique names. Most of the code in this module is frankly a copy-paste from the naive dynamic symbol supervisor. I left it here to start a discussion about abstracting part of this code by potentially introducing our own behavior. Let me know in the comment what you think about that. What would be the best way to handle these situations to avoid a copy-paste code? We can now add the supervisor module that will be responsible for the dynamic streamer supervisor together with the auto start task using the rest for one strategy, exactly in the same way as we implemented it in the naive application. The new supervisor will become a child of the streamer application which will now be registered with its module's name. As we now created the whole supervision tree around the streamer processes, we need to update the streamer module to delegate the calls to start and stop streaming to the dynamic streamer supervisor. Our very last step will be to tidy up the streamer Binance module to use uppercase symbols when registering process and limit itself to log only debug messages.
Okay, at this moment our system will auto start both trading and streaming. And that will become very useful at the moment when we would, for example, have a hardware failure. But this is not a full story. So think about all those trades that were ongoing at the moment of the reset. So obviously we will miss out on those trades as the system will start again. In the next episode we will focus on getting our naive leader to be more resilient to those kind of failures. And remember, the best way to spread those episodes across the world is to smash that like button and subscribe if you like them. Show your appreciation, you know? It won't hurt. Otherwise, see you in the next episode.